Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and this is going to be a powerhouse of a Patreon message we're sharing with you. Um, and more than likely, I'm going to make this public as well because I'm going to get into a little biblical teaching on this too. Uh, and the image here, I want to thank uh, Charlie uh, for sending this to me. And I don't know about the anomalies in this photo here. I know it was taken up in the Smoky Mountains. Uh, in fact, uh, oh gosh, where is it at there, Charlie? I got it somewhere up here, not the moon photo though. Uh, that is at Mount Lakote. Uh, and he said it could have been a different mount as well. I just pulled up some images off of Google Maps so you can kind of see whereabouts we're looking at where that, that uh, amazing photo was taken uh, by a friend of his. And, uh, but I just wanted to share it with you because I thought it was a cool looking photo. And, and, and one friend wrote and uh, said to me, you know, don't get distracted with the Planet X issues there. We got worse problems coming here on the Earth, and that's the global takeover. Uh, well, we're sharing this here on Patreon, so I have to be very careful what I say. But speaking of the global takeover there, uh, let me remind you, too, of Yana's Odyssey channel, because that's where that's referring back to. And uh, she has just loaded another video. I won't even say the title name. You can see it yourself. Um, and boy, you, you definitely, these are exclusive videos on her Odyssey channel. So odyssey.com forward slash the at sign Israeli News Live uh, colon A. And I'll put uh, a link to that in the description. At least I'll try to. I know I got to be careful about that too here on Patreon. But uh, you definitely have got to check out Yana's channel. Amazing, amazing. Third update here this week that she's done. Uh, God bless her heart for, for, for really taking the time out to warn the world of the dangers. But now I want to go back, though, the, the individual that uh, was so kind to share that with me about, uh, well, don't focus on Planet X so much. You know, and, and I did share back with him. I said, well, you know, Jesus warned of Planet X. Believe it or not, he actually does. And uh, so I don't think he would waste his breath with it if he wasn't trying to make sure we were aware. But he's also warning of the things that Yana is teaching on as well. But I'll just give you here in the book of Luke, and then we're going to come back to it in just a moment. But I've got some astounding photos that got sent to me by Sister Kim and her husband down in Australia. Uh, we got some more sent in. I'm going to share them with you. I don't know what to think about them, but I'm going to share with you give you some of my thoughts on, on from, some, from some other friends, Michael, a uh, different Michael than the other Michael that we shared the other day. And uh, But anyway, the scripture says here in Luke chapter 21, for these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be a great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive unto all nations. Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Now, granted, this could be 70 A.D. Don't say it's not. But the next part, though, is not 70 A.D. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Well, I'm going to take you in just a few minutes here over into the Hebrew Matthew as well, going into, uh, uh, we'll, we'll jump back, all the way back to Matthew 24, because the verbiage there used is not quite the same as what we have in the Greek, Matthew, but it lines up with the book of Luke. And so that's what we're going to go to in just a moment. But before I do, let me take you to some of these other amazing images. Now, this is from Michael. Uh, I, I think it may be the moon out of focus, maybe a hazy sky, but, you know, it's still, though, it was a little bit odd, kind of, a, you know, some odd images there that he shared with us there. Uh, and like I said, I believe that is just the moon. I'm, I, I could be wrong on that. He'd shared this one, too, uh, et cetera there. But, but like I said, I'm not really sure uh, what to think about it. Now, the brother here, and oh, gosh, I forget who this was. Was this Brother Rodriguez? Um, I think it, this is Brother Rodriguez. And if I've got your name wrong, I will definitely correct that in our next video there. I apologize about that. Now, this picture here, 
And the reason I say the next video is because I don't want people seeing people's email addresses and and and, and that being happening. The brother just decided to take a picture of the morning sky there, uh, and you can zoom it in, and then you'll start seeing. He actually another picture, and I really appreciate what he did. He he circles the images that are there everywhere, but there's all types right there by the hand there. There's one there, um, and it could have been two different. Oh, there we go. Right there. There's another one right there. Uh, it's got it's got everywhere in this photograph. You're gonna see. Whoop! I messed up. Let me go back to it. You're going to see these anomalies. Now, let me just back out of that picture there for a moment. Let's go to the one where he circles things. This one here. And on this one, though, not only does he circle these images that were in the sky there, but what I found interesting is that um, it almost seems like the quality of this photo is better. And you can see the images better on here. All right. And here we go. You've got one there, one here, uh, and I can see it right in there. It's almost like there's three right there. Uh, there is one closer to the sun right there. Uh, I couldn't quite make out what's in this one or that one there, but obviously he's definitely picking up anomalies in this photograph here that very well could be uh, some type of planetary objects in the daytime sky. Uh, but now, and a lot of people might say, well, that's refractions, things like that. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But what you're about to see next from Kim and her husband down in uh, Australia are not refractions. And, uh, and I don't know what to make of it, but we're going to take a peek at it. Sister Kim is the one who's been taking these pictures during the daytime that you've seen so many of, uh, like this one here with the uh, object here to the left, uh, like this one here, the object up here. And when you zoom in, it looks like a bunch of little golf balls in there. Uh, it, it's really, that's a weird one. Now, this one, I think it was from Brother Michael where the image was down there. Could be a, ref a refraction, that one there. I don't know for sure. I can't say. Uh, here's where that little golf ball look is there type thing when you zoom in on that one that she did there. But then she took this one here last night. I believe it was last night or something to that effect. As long as uh, this one here as well. And then of course uh, another one right here too. This is the moon. And of course we do have some stars showing up and around the moon in different places on the screen here. Make sure it's not any... I got dust on my own screen there. But you got a couple of places there. But what's this object right here? You know, my FEMA source said to me in a text right before going on to this video here, wow, do you think it's a spaceship or a space rock where these entities are hiding? I don't know, all right? Let's take a, let's zoom in on this a little bit. There you are. You can see the stars just like they have in there. But then you got this rock-looking thing here. And this crazy thing is, this thing is... I'd say about a third of the size of the moon itself, but we don't know if it's further out or closer into the earth. But that is about as nuts as nuts can get. Now granted, Sister Kim is only using her iPhone or some kind of phone she has to take these images. All right, here it is again. And now notice the stars have not changed their positions really relatively to the moon. You got one there, one there, one there, one here. Right, let me jump back over to here again. Again, you have there, there, there. The stars are still in the same position, but this object here is clearly changing positions as it goes along there, all right? So I'm going to go back to this last image right here, show you this one here. It's a little bit further to the left now, and there you have it right there. You know? And is it just a giant rock? Uh, is it Planet X? Is it a moon? Of, is it part of this binary system? I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. But one thing's for sure, I've been told for a long time that once this stuff starts appearing, they're not going to be able to hide it anymore. It's going to get to a place where they just can't hide it. 
So this is in the night skies of southeastern Australia right now. And that object there is appearing. And uh, so let me take real quick with you as well. I said to you scripturally. All right. I, I found another fascinating passage in Jeremiah that I'm going to share with you in just a moment as well. But let me first take you over here to the Hebrew Matthew. And uh, we are, because if you look at Luke, just so we kind of get a comparison here, right? Luke says here, But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days, for there shall be great distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and we are having the wars beforehand. And oddly enough, too, in the Egyptian writings, it says the exact same thing before the calamity, before the dimensions will collapse on each other and the stars will fall to the earth and, and, the, and the archons will weep for the man they made. And I'm not talking about the man that God made, but for the man they made. Their little interbreeding program they did here to get a bunch of reptilians down here, right? Uh, but... It says that the kings would have war against one another and the blood would be spilled upon the earth. Also in the Colbrin document, it talks about when the blood is being spilled on the earth, that's when the destroyer comes. Keep in mind, the Colbrin calls it the destroyer. All right? So, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations, perplexity, the sea and the waves are roaring. But remember, woe to them to give suck in those days with the child, Right? Let's go then to match that up in Hebrew. Uh, same, it's the same thing in the King James Matthew as well, this part here. Woe to those who are pregnant and those who nurse children in those days. So we're still in the same uh, parallel of what Luke recorded. Pray to God that your flight will not be on the Sabbath day because there will be great distress which has not been from the creation of the world until now, as will not be. Except those days were few, no flesh would be saved. But for the sake of the chosen, those days will be few. And of course, I love the next part. At that time, if one should say to you, Behold, the Messiah is here or there, do not believe it. Because false messiahs, false prophets will arise. They will give signs and great wonders so that if it can be, they will come to lead the chosen astray. This is what the evangelical movement is doing right now and trying to get you to follow underneath the, you know, that, and again, I'm on Patreon, so you have to think about it, right? Trying to get you to, 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 to follow, uh, the, we'll say the men in black. There we go. That's a good way to put it. Never thought about it like that. Did you? <laughs> I mean, all right, that's kind of funny, right? But think about it, right? Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Mm. I think this is interesting, especially in light of the fact that, uh, uh, that we were to say that, uh, you know, the men in black. Hmm. Controlling the alien space program, you might say, right? Okay, so you got the picture. Anyway, the evangelical group is trying to lead you, um, and let's just put that in as well. Now let's just see what kind of what kind of imagery we might get there. Um, nothing specifically that I could find right off the top of my head, uh, but you already know. You already know about this, right? The, the point being is, is that this movement is what's going to bring about the part about the false messiahs. Uh, like it says, don't believe them if said they're here or there. Don't believe it. Right? Even all this calamity is going on, they're still going to try to bring out the false messiahs. They say the Messiah is here or there, and that could be the fact they're trying to tell you, oh, we found the burial place of Jesus. It's really, he was buried over here. He died a natural death because they're trying to take away his identity. Remember the story I taught you about Joseph when they stripped him of his coat of many colors. It was to, to strip him of his royalty, of who he really is. Now, because there will be great distress, which was not been from the creation of the world until now and as will not be. All right, that word distress, and not just the word, uh, the, the word, the great distress it will be, 
But in Hebrew here, okay, Sha'az Tahaya, Sara, that's the word there for distress, Sara Gadola, a tremendous, tremendous distress. All right? Asha lo nahayota mebarit. Which has not been, not, has not ever been from the creation. Ho'alam of the world. Ad ata until now. All right? Now, remember when he says mebarit, that's right there at the beginning. Barashit. Bara Elohim at Arts. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And yet we know that there was a flood that caused such a shaking on the earth. The entire earth was flooded with water and killed every living thing on the earth except what was saved by Noah. At least that's what we have recorded, right? Alright then. Now Jesus is saying that there is coming such a great distress as to which there has never came from the very beginning. And he uses barit, like barashit, at the first, from the very first of the world, haolam. Well, I can tell you now, he wasn't talking about 70 A.D. 70 A.D. was nothing compared to what he says here. So he is lining it up like Luke does as well. And not only that, we have in Jeremiah. For the Lord spoileth Babylon and destroyeth out of her the great voice and their waves roar like many waters. Vehamu Goliahem. 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 Goliahem is their waves. Kamayim. Uh, as the seas, as many seas. The noise of the voice is uttered for the spoiler. That word spoiler right there. Kibo elia al bavel shodeid. Right there. There it is right there. You know what that word means? Destroyer. What did I tell you earlier that the Colburn document called it? It calls it the destroyer. And her mighty men are taken, their bows are shattered. For the Lord is the God of recompenses. He will surely requite, and I will make drunk her princes and her wise men, her governors and her deputies and her mighty men, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep and not awake, said the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. We're talking about such a destruction, there ain't nobody coming back. And if you back up a little bit, it also says it up here. My people, go you out of the midst of her. Wow, isn't that? Tzu, metucha ami, metucha ami. What does the scripture say? And I forget, I think it's in the book of Revelation. Come out of her, my people. Let's look it up. Come out of her. All right, let's see. Yeah, Revelation 18.4. So you want to know what that scripture is talking about? Let's go to Revelation 18.4. Let's pull it up on the scriptures real quick for you, right? Revelation chapter 18. Very famous scripture. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, Babylon the great has fallen, has fallen, has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit, cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunken of the wine of wrath of her fornication, the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her, what? Plagues. Wow, what do you know? Her plagues. For her sins have reached into heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even to reward her. You double her, double according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. And Jesus says over in the book of Matthew 24, that it would be a greater distress than ever has been all the way back from the Barashit, from the very beginning. 
Wow. Let her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, and famine. She shall be utterly burned with fire, strong as the Lord but judgeth her. Burned with fire. Well, that's what's going to happen this time around, according to every document we can find on this subject. And then you sit there and you read over here in Jeremiah. Now you know what Jeremiah is talking about. My people, go ye out of the midst of her and save yourselves every man from the fierce anger of the Lord. And let not your heart faint, neither fear ye the rumor that shall be heard in the land. For a rumor shall come one year, and after that another year a rumor. And violence in the land, ruler against ruler. Yeah, because the nations go into war as well. As I said to you, the Egyptian documents also bear that out. The kings of the earth will begin to spill the blood. Then the Colburn document says, when the blood is spilled upon the earth, then the destroyer comes. There's rumors of it coming. And it doesn't show up. How many times have they already rumored? It's going to be this year. This day here. Doesn't happen. But it will come. It will come. And Jesus has warned us of this. And so we get on further down because this is all about hark, a cry from Babylon the Great, destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. That's another thing right there. Who are the Chaldeans? Everybody tries to figure that out biblically. Maybe the Chaldeans are reptilians. Have anybody ever even considered the possibility? Hmm. The Lord spoileth Babylon and destroyeth out of her the great voice, and their waves roar like many waters. The noise of their voice is uttered, for the spoiler or the destroyer is come upon her. Even upon Babylon, her mighty men are taken, their bows are shattered. For the Lord is a God of recompense, and he will surely require. I will make drunk her princes and her wise men, her governors, her deputies, and her mighty men. They shall sleep a perpetual sleep. Friends, we are at the door. And so is this. And I don't know. I cannot say with certainty. I remember I was told when it came to Planet X, when that thing does begin to appear, nobody will be able to stop it from being seen. And the thing is, I've also been told it is a draconian planet. What hour are we living? A lot of images have been taken. Everybody has shown different things. But I have to tell you, I have never seen images like these ever before in my life. Um, and again, I'm no, I'm no expert. I'm no astronomer. I, I, I know that they want to cover these things up, but I'm not one of those type of guys. Right? And then, like I said, we got this latest one here coming in from, um, from this brother here. And again, you know, what is it? What are these things here in the daytime sky? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I, I thank you. I want to thank all of you that are sending these to me. If you want to send images that you're taking, IsraeliNewsLive at gmail.com. Um, and if you would, let us know that we can use those. Uh, I like to make sure that we can. Uh, I, I Normally, if I share your name, I only do your first name because I don't want people to give you a hard time or nothing like that. Uh, so I just share the first name of the individual that shares that with me. If you don't want your name shared at all, just let me know. Uh, and we won't do that. But uh, we thank you and thank those of you that are sharing these things with us there. We are certainly, certainly, friends, we are in a late, late, late hour. And uh, I think we know that already. And we need to be every hour you know, let's just be prayed up and ready to go. Uh, and God bless you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support of Patreon. I really thank you for your support of Patreon. We appreciate it greatly. And don't forget too, like I mentioned, I hope I mentioned it because I had to re-record this video several times. Uh, Yana's channel right here on odyssey.com forward slash the at sign Israeli News Live colon A, the letter A, a colon and the letter A. That'll take you directly to her channel. And uh, she will give you the update about those crazy things going on in other spheres of this world right now and how that global dominance is going forward. Good evening.